Good morning, everybody. Hi, it's Diane here together on the porch. Today, instead of a warm beverage, I'm drinking a cool beverage. Not really sure how I woke up feeling like this, but this is um, used to be ice water, but the ice has already melted with a little bit of lime essential oil in it. So when you have food grade essential oils, you can use a couple drops of those to give you the flavor. And I love lime and I love the flavor of lime. And a lot of times when you buy lime in the store, it doesn't have very good juice in it. So I use lime essential oils. Water is good. It is excellent. So today is all about being like a cloud. Mm -hmm. Yep, sometimes we're light and puffy and we kind of hang around and then we turn into storms and sometimes we're like scud clouds like I love scud clouds myself and um, because they're tropical they're moving fast and they're low-lying so they're under the radar a lot of times but we know they're there and scud clouds are what feed the larger weather systems so um, I like those but sometimes we're you know like this morning when I woke up and I saw how dry the air was and the way the clouds were moving I went oh that storm turned more north and sure enough it I went and checked and it did see one of the benefits of being raised in Florida by a weather geek genius mother is I can read the weather days out without radar and without news I can go outside and tell you what it's going to do because I learned how to do it from the time I was a small child and so again, the storm is gonna hit the panhandle where again, my mother, if she was alive today and she still is alive in my head would say, honey, never live where the water has no place to go. So um, anyway, the clouds are beautiful this morning and they're, they're feeder clouds, a lot of them this morning around here, um, and which is drying our air out and making it really, really beautiful. And so I always think about being like a cloud because clouds are beautiful in no matter how what form they come in whether it's a big thunderhead or whether it's puffy white cumulus clouds the ones we can make little animals or pictures out of in our head or little scud clouds or storm clouds right there's nothing more amazing than a hurricane the cloud formations of a hurricane are absolutely stunning are absolutely stunning and um so when you really appreciate the depth and intensity and power of nature, then it change your relationship to the world changes, right? So I am. Um, I was watching them today, and I've been thinking about it. And then I started thinking about because the sun started coming up. And then I started thinking about um, how um, the clouds reflect the light of the sunrise and the sunset, and they they reflect and how beautiful it all is. You know, and I think we should all be like clouds. Sometimes puffy and sweet, sometimes passing through really fast, sometimes hanging out for a while, sometimes offering the moisture and rain and beauty that um, nourishes things, sometimes bringing with us a breeze so we can go sailing, <laughs> right? Um, and sometimes sucking the breeze so that sailors like me would get really frustrated or learn a different way to get in. But there's so many fascinating, fascinating ways to look at it. So as I was, as the sun was coming up and I was watching the, the colors and I was noticing that that storm had obviously turned and being grateful I didn't, didn't do like a lot of people I know did and cancel the rest of my week because it was going to be a terrible, rotten, awful week here because it's not going to be a terrible, awful, rotten week here. Um, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the power of the clouds. And I think we humans could be like clouds and one of the big things that that comes to mind when I think about that is being non attached to outcome being non attached to the outcome floating through enjoying what's happening and not being so attached to everything because clouds don't attach to anything a low flying cloud is called fog and it doesn't attach to anything either it leaves back its residue its moisture you know it leaves a gift like rain clouds leave us a gift, but they don't attach. And if we would just learn how not to attach to things and but yet enjoy and be part of and possess the beauty of without attachment, I think 
as a species and as individuals, we would be much, much happier. And we would be living more in tune with the universe. Like other mammals don't attach to tomorrow or what day it is or anything. They don't attach, they live in the moment and if they're hungry, they let you know and if they're tired, they sleep. They don't attach to what time is it? I guess I have to sleep now or oh no, it's too early, I can't get up yet even though I'm awake or any of those things. They don't attach to that, they don't care about it, they live in the flow of the universe. So today I've been walking around going, be like a cloud, be like a cloud, be like a cloud. And I just been kind of laughing about how I appreciate that. And I think it would be fun. I think today I'm just gonna keep saying, be like a cloud. And it would be good for me to say, be like a cloud over and over today because it is a fully booked, only a couple 10 minute break day from the moment I stop here until, well, after the last podcast interview is gonna end about seven. So it's one of those days that other people schedule things in spots that I didn't know was happening and then it show, pops up on my calendar, which is fine. Um, that's why it's there. And, um, but that's why you can't be attached to it. You don't wanna be attached to, oh, I don't have to do very much or, oh, I get a break or, oh, there's only this happening because you don't know. Um, it's always an interesting time. So today I get to do a couple really amazing podcast interviews and meet with some really amazing people. Um, and all kinds of stuff is happening. We don't want to be attached to the outcome. No attaching to the outcome. And so... Um, how are you doing that? How are you learning how to release your agenda or your um, temper tantrum? <laughs> if you're having one of those, maybe you're not. And um, how are you willing to just keep flowing through the world? That's what I was telling my legs today when they didn't want to walk and I was like crying in pain. I said, okay, oh, come on, just be like a cloud, keep flowing, this is ridiculous. What are we being so tight and rigid for? There, my personality is no longer tight and rigid. You guys, you muscles catch up with me. And even though they still were hurting, lightening up my spirit a little bit made it better. Yeah. And then I petted my dog and she put her, and she was smiling. And um, life is better no matter what else is going on. Like everybody has something they're dealing with. So it's not about that. So I came back from my walk with her. Um, and then I said, I have time to do um, a guided meditation for my um, meditation podcast. So I did that already. So it'll go up later today. So that's really good. And, um, and now I'm here with you guys. And then I get to do, I don't even know how many other things. And then have a beautiful day. One thing after the other. Just like the scud clouds cruising through, that's how my day is going to be. Right on time. Like last night I was talking to somebody and they said, well, take some time tomorrow to whatever they said. I said, you didn't hear what I just said. I said it three times previously in the conversation. Tomorrow, today, I'm totally booked with nothing more than a 10 minute break the whole day. So when was I supposed to do whatever it was they were suggesting I was doing? Like go to a store and get something or make a phone call or whatever it was, I can't remember now, but I'm like, you're not listening to what I'm saying. And my speech is usually very precise. So if I say it's the whole day, then that's, means the whole day it doesn't mean three or four hours so I am um, I laugh at how even people who are good listeners and are precise can sometimes miss what's really being said because so many people speak in generalities but I know one thing when we're speaking in specifics we are acting in a healthy manner when we are speaking in generalities there's something amiss so you can always tell something's not quite right because there's a lot of generalities going on all women do this all people in Florida do this oh, da, 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 da. Mm -mm. nope the more specific we are the healthier we are the more general we're being the more dysfunctional we're being it's directly correlated so today be like a cloud right float through enjoy things bring a little breeze Create cool shapes if you want to for other people to notice or not. And appreciate the fact that we're all here with the ability to just keep on um, 
bringing more and more beauty and enhancing the world. And um, yes, those days where there's no clouds at all and it's a perfect blue sky. My father used to call them Chamber of Commerce days because um, he was very involved in building some of the economic structures of Sarasota way back when. And so he would love it because a tourist would love the pictures of the cloudless days, the clear, beautiful Florida sky. Well, I think those are beautiful too. And I really think clouds are beautiful. And I think if we all just realize that if we just stay in the flow of things, just like the clouds do, and we are not attached to the outcome, just like the clouds are, and we're willing to reflect the beauty of the light around us, like the sunset and the sunrise clouds that people love to see. And here in Florida, we have surround sound ones. You can look toward the sun setting and see them lit up behind you. So, there you have it. Be like a cloud. And have a good time. And bring sunshine, bring rain and moisture and beauty. Bring some lightning to wake some people up. Yeah. Bring whatever it takes to add your special gift, your special vision, your special thumbprint in the world. Because every single thing you think, say, think, say, and do is permanently in the universe. Everything you think, say, and do is permanently in the universe. So, what are you doing, right? And so, today I'm enjoying the remnants of the scud clouds are starting even to like be less and less now, but I'm enjoying them. I love scud clouds, and I love storm clouds. And I think that watching and looking at how the moisture in the atmosphere changes and shifts and forms things is absolutely amazing and I'm certain no human thought up it thought it up it comes from much greater wisdom than any human brain so be cloud take yourself a little bit lightly heavy clouds are simply fog but they're still light so let's get out of it let's get out of the heavy negativity of the world you know um, and enjoy life and enjoy the fact that we get to be here on this planet as the beings that we are it's pretty cool I think right um, so today I get to do a couple podcast interviews one with a musician actor comedian person this should be a real kick because even in the pre-interview we were just getting to know each other it was one joke after the other and so <laughs> this should be funny and um and then then I'm interviewing um, a rocket scientist after that so that's called shifting clouds quickly, right? From um, a comedian, actor, entertainer, musician person to a rocket scientist. Those are two different skill sets, two different language sets. And of course, I will have different questions for both of them. So um, how cool is that though? That's why the Someone Gets Me podcast is really loved in, in like 60 something countries because the the talent and the vision and the giftedness of the people who I have the pleasure and honor and privilege of interviewing just is amazing. Um, today's podcast that launches today um, is called The Power of Visionary Leadership and it's with Stephen Sashan who's the owner of Zero Shoes, X-E-R-O, shoes.com. He um, was on Shark Tank. He was also a stand-up comedian and he and his wife run this business and they have some interesting things to say about um, being a visionary leader that I really enjoyed interviewing him. He was fun, fun, fun. So you guys are going to love this week's podcast episode um, and you're going to love his energy. He's a really cool guy. So um, that's very, 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 very exciting. And I love being around multidimensional people. I love being a multidimensional person. And um, the research just research just came out like a day or two ago saying that highly gifted people, of which I am one, with overexcited abilities, of which I am one, um, that we multitask, but we don't multitask in the 3D linear, we multitask across dimensions. So when you're dealing with a highly gifted person who um, has overexcited abilities, then they're multitasking in their brain, but they're multitasking across dimensions, and they were able to identify 11 different dimensions that profoundly gifted people multitask over. So 
those of you who are gifted and you wonder like, wow, my brain is really busy. Somebody yesterday told me, oh, you have a great voice. And um, I love how you think. And I laughed. I said, it looks really good out here, but you don't want to be in here. <laughs> like The inside part of the brain is all over the place. And um, how it comes out making sense sometimes, even I'm shocked. But we're multitasking across dimensions. We have to like expand what we really think and see and, and are. Otherwise, we get ourselves in trouble. So be like a cloud. Bring some beauty, bring some shade from the sun, bring a little moisture, float through, take yourself lightly, and be done with um, trying to control something that you cannot control, because that's goofy, right? Um, we are multitasking across dimensions. There is more going on than you think. It's time to start waking up to the possibility that just maybe our human structure brain has more going on than we realize and is still limited at that. Maybe there is more. Just maybe. So on this day, I wish you love and kindness and generosity. I wish you lightness and joy and peace and gratitude. And from my heart to your heart, <laughs> oh, let yourself laugh and enjoy this gorgeous, beautiful day that we are all getting to celebrate and be alive in. So until tomorrow at 9 a.m. on my porch, where a lot of people thought I wouldn't be able to be out here because it would be raining, it doesn't look like it will be. I guess I'll be able to be on the porch without my foul weather gear on. Yes. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow.